Hi kindergartners. I have another book for you today. Archer's going to help me read it to you. This one is called How to Catch a Star and it's by Oliver Jeffers. He's the author, so he wrote the words, and he's also the illustrator, so he did the pictures. How to Catch a Star. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. So there he is looking out the window, wishing him a star. He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide and seek and take long walks together. So here they are playing hide and seek. And here they are walking on the beach. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being in the, st in the sky all night. The next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. And waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry, so it's not going to work. He can't lift it up. If he could just fly up in a spaceship and grab the star, but the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly very well. Hmm. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help. He could fly up into the sky to reach his star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Then he noticed something floating in the water. So if you look down here, there's a star. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. Let's see if he can grab it. He tried to fish it out with his hands. There he is reaching for it. But when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. So there's nothing there for him to grab. Just a reflection from a star in the sky. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly he began walking home. And that's when he saw it. Washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. So what he found is a starfish, but he thinks it's a star and that makes his wish come true. Okay, so I want you to imagine for writing today that you needed to catch or get a star. And I want you to tell me how you would do it. So I wrote here to get a star and then use your imagination. Think what you would try. So here's what I drew. To get a star, 
I would use a ladder. And there I am about ready to climb the ladder. So let's look at what I wrote. To get a star, I is a tricky word, I know how to spell that one, would, I had to use my sounds, would, would. For use, I needed to try my sounds, yeah, ooze, use. Uh is a tricky word, I remembered it was an A even though it sounds like uh. And then for ladder, I stretched it out, l ad er ladder. To get a star, I would use a ladder. Okay, so get a piece of paper and start with this. To get a star, and then think in your imagination what you would do to get a star. And then you can show it to me next time you are on video with me. Bye, have fun writing.